A former beauty queen and her daughter have teamed up with the hope of inspiring others during Child Abuse Prevention Month. Together they've written After the Storm, which tells the story of the struggles of a mother with mental illness and a daughter left to pick up the pieces. Joining us this morning to tell us more about the book are Ava St. Pierre and Cherie Cogburn. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much for being here and, and really for sharing your story. Ava, let's start with you. Okay. You had, a, you had a very tough childhood growing up, to say the least, I'm sure. Yes, I absolutely did. And I didn't think that I would be the voice I am now, a strong voice. I was a shy little girl mm -hmm. that hid behind a couch when my mother had her fit of rage. And I'm, I'm surprised that I'm here, that I'm doing this. And I think it's my legacy. I think I'm carrying it on from my daughter and my son and my grandchildren. Now, you both have teamed up to, to put your experience on paper. Sheree, did you know about her past prior to really kind of delving into it? Did she share that with I you? I did. Yes, I did know. And I, I was the one that was sitting there trying to write through the, the chapters and really get through those. So we had to relive those moments repeatedly. But mm -hmm. uh, really what it's about is helping others and helping yes. them to come forward with their stories and also uh, breaking, that, the, breaking the cycle of that abuse and, and really getting that awareness out there that, you know, this is common. It does happen. One in five have some form of mental illness, sadly. Oh so it's really just putting that awareness out there and teaching mm -hmm. and, and helping others. And through that, we've, we've been able to get, so we've had so many others reach out and, and tell us that they, people we know closely have reached out and told us that they are affected as well. So that they've had a similar yes. situation or maybe even known someone. Is that, is that what you're trying to do here? Not only, I'm sure it must it must have, been good for you to kind of get that weight off of your shoulders when you are expressing your emotions and finally jotting them down but are, are you hoping that maybe more people will well I get thousands of messages a week so mm -hmm. I know that our voice is being heard good. I think it's about removing the stigma of mental illness mm -hmm. and what happens when a person has mental illness and we don't stand up and say we need better mental health care because then you have child abuse which affected my life personally I lost a baby brother to child abuse I think as a world once we start talking about it then we're going to demand better he mental health care certainly so for you guys I mean what was the challenge of really <sighs> I mean, I'm sure you had many things that yes. you wanted to gather, but it's even selecting the order of how you wanted to tell this. What was the challenge for you? Because you are you are an author you're, yeah. yourself, but, and clearly <laughs> just you're, released this two days ago. But so. normally, you know, this is obviously a much lighter book than the content that you're that you're talking about here. What was the challenge for you to take these real life situations and and have them be in a way easy to follow for the reader? The challenge is. Uh, making it easy to follow but also it's a it's a subject that many don't want to talk about right yes. so that stigma of embarrassment and, and really getting people to understand that it's okay to talk about this yeah it's okay you're not alone and we we can relate and, so. and quickly before we let you go the proceeds will go to a great cause yes yes absolutely they go towards uh, prevent child abuse America and National Institute of Mental Health and also this month is national uh, uh, it's Child Abuse Prevention Month, so I just wanted to point so that out. So this comes out at a month, perfect time. Mental Health Awareness Month. So again, perfect time to perfect pick this time. up and knowing that your money's yes. going to a good cause. Ladies, thank it's you so much, and thank you for sharing your story. Thank you. If you want to read After the Storm, it is in stores and available online now.